What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We out here doing our day job in the hollow part of this tree we found a, a honeybee nest with full honeycomb full of honey. I don't know how far it goes but I know it's in this half of the tree and it goes up into that other section of the tree right over there as well. I'd say it goes all the way up to that that entrance hole up there so it goes pretty far up th through there this is awesome and it tastes it tastes amazing yep just old wild backwoods honey in the hollow of a tree We might have to cut another section. Yep, before you can get any more out, so you will. That's all I can get out of that side. All I can reach. Let's go see what's in the other end. Had a good feeling this was in here and we were trying to guess where it was at and uh so i went way up the tree but ended up cutting right through the middle of it as far as i can tell this all of that there might be more might go deeper down in this section. Oh, yeah. Might have to cut it, take another cut off the end here with a chainsaw. And... Yeah, because because the entrance hole is about three feet above where you're digging, so I'd say there's plenty more up in there. <laughs> getting into some bees now. Getting into the active part of the nest here. So if you ever wonder where your honey comes from, this is how it's done in the wild in a beehive. It's a similar process, just a little bit easier to harvest. And all you see the dead bees in there, same thing happens in your commercial honey. They just filter it out.
right guys we're gonna we'll come back and show you what we do with this later probably gonna take another cut because it continues to go up a little further and uh, we're just gonna get as much of this honey as we can instead of letting it go to waste bees are getting a little bit more active the further we go Oh, 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 o
gonna get it all mashed up in there. Got it all good and mashed up. I'm gonna we'll take it and we'll go right into the colander with it. Now we just let that uh, drain for a couple hours and we'll see how much honey we got. We decided to go ahead and add our funnel with our fine mesh filter down here on the bottom. Just a little fine mesh bag. And uh, just helps us get a little bit cleaner honey at the end. And uh, as soon as this is done, we're going to put it in some jars and uh, we'll have honey for a little bit. Uh, if y'all like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you want to see next. All those things are very important to us. We need engagement. We need to communicate with our audience and see what y'all like, what you don't like. And the only way we know that is if you leave a comment in the comment section. All right, guys. We'll show y'all some finished product. And other than that, we'll see you next time. We ended up with just a little over a half a gallon.